Oh, hi. This is this is Pastor Rick. Uh, you surprised me. <laughs> I was just sitting here reading my Bible and thinking about all the trouble that's going on around the world. And in our nation, there's so much conflict. You know, there's an old saying that says, United we stand and divided we fall. And it's bothering me when Americans think other Americans are the enemy. Uh, it's actually quite foolish and dangerous for our country. But the Bible says something about it, and let me read it to you. It's in Psalm 2. It says, Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? A vain thing is something that's not going to accomplish the purpose that we should. And it says, The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast their cords from us. Well, what happens is we begin to forget oftentimes that there is a God and that he actually is our creator and that he has good plans and wisdom if we would just go to him and seek his help. And it says, why do the nations rage and the people plot these vain things? It says because they've actually taken a stand and counseled together against God. We've forgotten that we need to listen to him in order to find the right way, the right path through these problems. And we got to stop trying to, uh, everybody thinks they have the right idea and nobody will listen to each other and we're blaming each other. That actually isn't ever going to solve any problem. God said, the Bible says, God says, sits in the heavens and shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. He says, Yet I have set my king, that's Jesus Christ, on my holy hill of Zion, that's where Jerusalem is, I will declare the decree. The Lord has said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. One of the problems we have today is people are trying to solve these problems by themselves and they're not going to God. God is actually available. He's actually right here with you and me right now. We're not alone, the three of us. <laughs> and uh, you know what? Uh, we can go to God and we can ask for Him for His help and He won't withhold it from us. He already has promised that. And it bothers me when people are trying to make it through life and not actually seeking the source of truth and knowledge and wisdom. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says it this way, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. There's a lot of that going around. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow. You know, uh, if we would just trust in God, I think it would be really great if our leaders would just call for a big prayer meeting right now. Stop attacking each other and blaming each other and get on their knees before God and say, God, we're sorry and we need your help. And I believe God would stop and take notice of that. And if they asked him for wisdom, how to get through this and how to help our nation and its 300 plus million people, I know God would come through for them. Let's pray for our leaders that God will help them. Let's pray right now. Heavenly Father, I want to pray for our leaders that they'd stop blaming one another and stop trying to figure things out by themselves. I pray instead that they'd call for a prayer meeting in our Congress and ask God to help them to discover the wisdom that they lack and to help them find a way to unite on what they do agree on so that they can help us and accomplish the work that which we sent them there to Washington I pray that our President and our Congress, our Senate, the entire bunch would go before you and that you'd help them to find the wisdom they need to solve our problems. This is a great nation 
and I want to thank you for giving us the freedom that we enjoy here. May it last for many, many years to come. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.